Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for a Healer Within Life Practice Sampler. These live practice sessions have been a fantastic way for us to stay in touch and stay practicing during this time when many of us are feeling a little isolated. For more online practice opportunities, you can uh, consult our list of virtual practice groups or VPGs, and that can be found on our website, healerwithinfoundation.org under the practice groups tab at the top of our homepage. Our practice leader today is Sharon Infanti. Sharon is an IAQTC Tai Chi Easy senior trainer. She's been studying the Eastern arts since around 2000, and she holds certification as a medical Qigong practitioner, as well as certifications in other various Qigong and Tai Chi, tai chi forms. Additionally, she's trained in meditation, certified advanced Reiki, and sacred sound healing. So we're always delighted when Sharon steps into the practice space and to lead us. And we're so appreciative of you being here with us today, Sharon. And I'll turn things over to you and looking forward to practicing with you. Thank you so much. So thank you, Christy, for such a wonderful, warm welcoming, and everybody for showing up and being here when you show up. Um, we're going to be doing a, a short little seated practice, and then we're going to do a much longer standing practice. So um, let's just get started. These practices that I'm teaching you right now were very, very key and essential for me in my healing. And um, so I'm going to share them with you. Anyone that has tensions, arthritis, carpal tunnel, um, stiffness in your hands, um, in the forearm thumbs, these exercises, if I know for me, I practice them every day as much as I could for an entire week, and all of that lifted, and I just continued throughout um, just to maintain. So what we're going to do is, um, it's like reaching for a ball, a ball that's being thrown to you and you're reaching to catch it. And we're gonna use both hands together, but you can do it separately. But for time today, we'll do 50 of these together. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Shake it out. Oof. So some, sometimes that can be quite tenseful, shaking it up and down, shake it away and towards you. <sighs> All right, so now we're going to go into Eagle Claw. So we're gonna fold down our pinky and our ring finger uh, and we're going to do the same thing, 50 of them. As fast as you can, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 40, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 50. Shake that out. And let that all go from your breath as well. Shaking away. Ooh la la. All right. And then some more exercises. So. Um, you can fold your thumb and each finger is going to tap down onto the thumb, no repetition. So it goes from pointer to pinky and back. Um, so again, you can do all these exercises hands separately. I choose to do them together. It's a little more complicated, works both sides of the brain, not necessarily very easy to do. So sometimes I have to pay a little more attention to it. It's very rare for us to do these kind of things in our life. So, and now shake that out. Now I like to bring in a little softness here and um, think of our hands as like jellyfish. Now that we've begun to open up the circulations in our fingers, our wrists, and our forehands, and slowing that down. And if you choose to, you can have a ball in front of you, opening and closing. So it's really important to think about or to know that it's not just the fingers and the wrists that we want to um, focus on bringing in more energy and releasing tensions, but the energy carries throughout the entire body. So begin to expand 
and come back and cross and feel that connection into the center of the palm. And that's a little bit off the center, more underneath the index finger, but play with it and see where you feel it. Bring that energy. Can you bring that energy into your arms? Breathing in and exhale. Beautiful. All right, one, now we're gonna take it to the feet. Um, and again, these exercises, you can spend as much time as you choose to. One of my favorite things to do be, when I wake up in the morning and before I go to bed, tapping down on my on, uh, acupressure points on the leg um, of the uh, yin side and uh, kidney and liver. So we're gonna tap, um, I, you can do eight or nine taps here. So all of the foot, uh, six, seven, eight heel. And we're doing the inner heel. Six, seven, eight ankle. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three yin maybe point. That's about three fingers up from the ankle. And the inner knee, just below the kneecap. Six, seven, eight. Allow yourself to fold forward now. Flexed foot. If you need to hold it, you can hold it and grab the outer of, of your bent leg. And just allow yourself to dangle here and give a nice stretch. Feel that all the way down the side of your thigh into your glutes. And rise up. And let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heel. Inner sole. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inner ankle. In meeting points, about three fingers up from the ankle, a little bit more depending on your size of fingers, on the inside of your knee. Same thing here, bending forward, feeling that beautiful stretch. Just allow yourself to linger. Beautiful, rising up, breathe in, exhale out. We're going to remove the chair and give ourselves some space here for a standing exercise. Okay. So give yourself a moment, have your feet in a comfortable together, connecting into the earth. And I invite you to close your eyes just for a brief moment, aligning yourself, checking for that alignment, that your knees are soft, your feet are rooted, Feeling the soles of your feet connecting into the earth, the toes expanding. Knees are soft. Your trunk is slightly tough to elongate your spine. My favorite line, where is your head? Is it forward? Where are your shoulders? Are they soft? Are you tilted? Really connect into this area. We tend to fall out of line because of our technology. Give yourself that moment to really lie and feel. Actually, how wonderful it feels. And now feel as though you're being pulled up from the nap of the neck up to the heavens. Breathe in and out. Let's begin. You can keep your eyes closed if you wish, or take a peek and see what I am doing. But gathering um, our arms out and up to the heavens, reaching for that beautiful white beam of light, bringing that down in front of us, feeling that beautiful white beam of light coming in front of us from the heavens. Bringing another beam down so that it's behind us, but the hands come in front of us. So use your third eye, your intuition, your visual imagination, bringing that beautiful white beam of energy down behind us. Connecting into that light, feel that light. 
and one more. We're going to be bringing this through the Tai Chi pull, the bike way down into waiting. See that white light coming from the heavens, filling up every part of our energy, allowing yourself to be this beautiful light within and you know, just connect into those feelings and sensations. Bringing your tongue behind the upper palate, just behind the teeth. And allow your eyes to open up. Okay, so we're going to begin um, the, this next part of, um, of the five elements for releasing, for cleansing, and tone of tone, working the yin and the yang organs. So we are going to begin by dredging our channels, taking our hands down to the inner toe, big toe, up the inside. Slowly coming up to the armpits across the chest. Our thumbs are on top. One thumb put underneath and dredge the channels of the arms. Come up on the toes and let it go with loving kindness. Remember, we're sending that back into the earth for the next, for the next usage. Around the arms, around the back of the neck, and coming down the yang channel. Off the toes, rise up and flick. You do this nine times. You can do it as fast as you want or as slow as you want, dredging the channels, working through those channels and continuing through all the way down the side back of the legs, off the toes and down. And inner legs, across. Squeezing, releasing with a smile of gratitude and love for recomposting. Let's make this our last one. Counter swing. So we know this one, breathing in here, releasing. But you want to have really soft arms. It's kind of like just your knees bend and you just flop your hands. No tensions. Again, releasing what's in the body that's not serving us, letting it go with loving kindness into the universe to be transformed into purposeful, usable chi. Slowing it down here, breathing in and exhaling down. We're going to go into a little bounce and shaking here to continue to move the vibrations of the energy that have been begun in the body. So we just start by bouncing a little bit. We're going to rise up onto our toes, breathe in, and then come down onto the heels. And there's like that little bit of that extra bounce. So breathe in and release. And you can use the healing sounds. Um, usually whatever comes out is great. Let's do that again. Come up on your toes, breathe in. And let it go. And one last time. Friend bouncing. Breathe in up on your toes. And let go. Exhale. Okay. And the last one here for um, releasing those energies. Really, I refer to this as wringing out of um, the organs. It's trembling horse, and you're really just shaking it all up in the body, and then energy rising up through the central part of the body, out the arms and the fingers, and then you just flick. So it looks something like this. And again. And one last time. Oh, that felt really good. Sorry. 
So sometimes emotions really get me and you might have all kinds of reactions like me just giggling from that. And those are energies that are st stuck in, in the organs that need to go. So let's again bring our feet together. Look for those beams of light. Breathing in, we're going to connect in, bringing those beams of light in front of us, behind us, and through us. And this one is behind us. Again, the hands come in front. And this one through us through the Tai Chi pole. Again, don't forget about tongue placement of the upper palate behind the teeth. Allow yourself to just melt within, connecting into the body's energy, feeling the newness that we have begun, seeing the white light in us and around us. Maybe you already are beginning to feel the trembling inside, the vibration. You have a wonderful moment. Make your eyes open, reintroducing the light back into your soul, gathering energy up above, into prayer, down into the heart. Hands come up, one hand on top of the other, taking a deep dive down, one vertebrae at a time, starting with the hands, the arms, the head, noticing the rounding of the neck, the cervical spine, the thoracic spine, the lumbar, the sacral spine, making space in between each one of our vertebrae. Deep dive straight down to your toes. Separating your hands. Feel as though there's a heavy ball between your hands. Rising up very slowly, one vertebrae at a time from the sacral spine into the lumbar, into the thoracic, into the cervical spine. Let's do that again, breathing in. Exhale, slowly coming down, feeling the space in between every vertebrae. Really connect in and be present in your workout. Feel the heavy ball as you rise up from the sacral spine, the hip flexors, the lumbar, thoracic, cervical spine. One more time. Oh. Into prayer. And deep dive down. Feel that heavy ball slowly rising up. Let's bring our hands and just gather into heart for a moment. And because of time, we're going to cut right into the five elements, into the flow. Allow yourself to open up into a shoulder stance, a comfortable stance. Bring our hands down. We're going to rise up, broadening the chest and coming in, rounding the back. So this is for the lungs, feeling the expansion of the lungs in the back, breathing in and out, nice and slow. And you can think of white light into the lungs as you are doing this, because this is for tonifying.
bringing those hands down. Mirroring me if you wish. My right hand, your left hand, and is up. And my, my left hand, your right hand is behind you, connecting to the kidneys. You might need to open your stance just a little bit more. You're going to be connecting into the water for kidneys. Scooping that water up when you're down at the bottom. Feeling as though that water is right coming down the arms and connecting right into the kidneys. And if you want, you can think of the deep, deep blue, black color and also the sound. And here I generally say, you can say chew, or as you come up, you can say chewing. And because of time, we're going to bring our up hand to our back and allow our your right hand, my left hand to be up. Same thing here. We're going to scoop down. And there's a little bit shifting of the weight, scooping the water, allowing the water to trickle down the arms right into the kidneys. Filling up the kidneys, it's deep blue, black, nourishing the kidneys. Just enjoy the stretch and the movement. And you can say here, using the sounds of chu or chui. And this is the last one as we connect into the liver, bringing our hands right in front. It's like we pulse the monkey right in front. So connect into the energy between the palms and the arms. One hand, it's a, I like to think of it as a push and pull. Nice and soft, connecting into the energy. And you can do it fast if you want. The tone of fire, I like to keep it slow. And it's right in front of the chest. And we're going to finish that all. And we're going to go into holding a ball. Turning to your right, mirroring me, the right hand rises up, the left hand comes across the body and you push. This is for heart, forming a ball and turning at the waist, your left hand rises up, your right hand pushes out. So you can also have the fingertips here pointing to the elbow where the heart points are or forming a ball. I like forming a ball. Energetically, there's a lot of energy there. Play with it and see what works for yourself. You can think of ha, ah, right? Releasing, thinking of the bright red color of our heart. I like to think of that beautiful rose color. Last one. And because of the season, you can go um, focus more on the lungs. And I always focus on the heart as well, because we always want to have a nice heart centered workout and then always bringing it into balance. So you would do all of the movements for the five element qigong. Let's just hold here. Holding that ball for just a moment. Lowering it down to where your lower dantian is connecting you. We're going to go into our last movement for stomach spleen. 
fingertips are going to form a diamond straight up above our head. Looking. And then we sink down, we turn to the right just a little bit, sink down, come back to center, sink down, come to the left. And so here we can think of and then as and you can connect those fingers if you wish. They do not have to be. Last one. Over to the center and over to your left. Come back to center, breathe in. Hands rise up, exhale out, and down, sinking. Bring those hands into a gentle fist, rising up, opening into a gentle turtle pose. Great place to work on our breathing, cultivating energy. Use the hands and climb back up. And small orbit, the little orbit, just working the belly. So we can use our hands as a tool. Just thinking about energy turning in the lower Dantian. The lower cauldron, cauldron, there's fire. One, we can create warmth there. Remember, if we have warmth, we can also improve our health, immune system. And then we can bring that into the microcosmic orbit. And if you want to have your hands sliding and directing to help you up the back and around the front, down, this, and it's all on the um, governing and convention, um, down the do, and I mean, uh, um, up the do, down the red channel. Then if you want, you don't have to have the hands making such large movements. Just allow them to be here and envision the energy moving up the back, down. Tongue placement behind the upper palate, behind the teeth. Allow your hands to just come softly to the sides of your body, a little open under your arms. Just allow yourself to be in a soft muji. Connecting in to the sensations of each one of your organs. Pay attention to each one. What are they saying? What are you feeling? What are you seeing? Breathing in, bring those hands up, palms facing up on either side of you. For past and future, bringing them together into the heart. Smiling into your heart, holding gratitude for all of these lessons. Allowing ourselves to just be. Rub your hands until they're nice and warm. Bring them up over the surface of the face, around the back of the head, around the back, down the sides, down your legs, up the inside, smoothing out the energies, the meridian channels. And 
Inhale, exhale, extending and following those upper channels. Stand here just for a moment, connecting in. Envisioning that there's energy coming out of your palms, behind you, creating a beautiful circle of energy connection. Opening it up to the heavens. Circling them out, bringing them in front, crossing at the wrist, gathering here. Exhaling down. Blink your eyes open, reintroducing your light back into your soul. Oh, take a deep breath in. Let yourself be present. And I thank you all for joining me today. I wish for you a beautiful healing and balance and calm sleep. Hey, Sharon, thank you so much for a fantastic practice. Um, that was awesome as usual, and we so appreciate you leading us today. Remember, you can find other online practice opportunities through our virtual practice group list. That's located at our website, which is healerwithinfoundation.org, under the practice group tab at the top of our homepage. So great way to connect with other leaders, including seeing Sharon's practice offerings online too. If you've missed any of these live practice sessions, you may now find them on our YouTube channel. If you'll go to YouTube and search on Healer Within Foundation, you'll find our channel and all the videos uh, compiled there for you. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate that. It helps us grow our footprint there and ultimately uh, lets us get these practices into the lives of more individuals. So we'd appreciate your subscription. If you're leading an online practice group and wish to be added to our VPG list, or you'd like to volunteer to lead one of these live practice sampler sessions, please email us at admin at healerwithinfoundation.org or send us a message uh, here through Facebook. And we'd be happy to talk to you about the opportunities with both of those things. So um, be great to connect that way. Thank you all for joining us today. And thanks again to Sharon for a beautiful practice. We hope to see you again soon, and until we do meet again, may all be well. Thank you.